Hey guys, AJ here from 3D Printing Systems again. Today we've got a little bit of a tips and tricks video for you. We're going to be looking at nozzle heights, what it looks like if your nozzle is too close, what it looks like if your nozzle is too far away, and how we adjust and fix for that. So we've got our UpStudio software open here. Uh, we're currently heat preheating our platform. It's at about 90 degrees at the moment, so it's nice and toasty for us to start a test print and check what our nozzle height looks like. All right now over here in the calibrate option, we're just going to take note of our nozzle height. Currently mine's set at 211.4. So we're going to do a small test print. Now the test print that we're going to do is a 20 millimeter cube right in the center of the platform. All right, so if you've, been, uh, if you've been emailed this, then you should have included the 20 millimeter cube file. Otherwise you can jump over to Thingiverse and download it from there, uh, or you can create one using Tinkercad.com. So we're going to go ahead and print this, and then we're going to have a look at what the raft layer on our print looks like. So we're just going to start a test sprint. Now we're doing that 20 millimeter cube that we've looked at. So I'll go ahead. Now we're going to only do the first layer. And once it's printed the first layer, we're going to stop the print. And then we're going to have a look at the raft and what it looks like. All right, so let's stop it there. Now we'll take the perf board out and we'll have a look at the result. So we've stopped our first test print, we're just having a look at the raft. Now I can already see with this raft that it's quite pressed in. You can even see where it's meant to be white in some places, it's starting to go see-through and you can see the black of the perf board behind it. All right, so that tells me that this is too close. So our nozzle height is too uh, set too close, so we need to decrease our nozzle height and set it a little bit further away. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this print on the board and we're going to move our cube in the software so that we can place our next print next to it and then we can compare the two. So we're going to start the next test print. First thing we need to do is move our cube to the right. So go into the move option, dragging it to the right so that we get it printing in a different location and we can compare our two RAS. Next, we know that our nozzle height is already set too close, so clicking on calibrate. Nozzle height was 211.4. Now, because it's too close, we need to decrease that number. So we're gonna change that to 211.1, changing it by 0.3. So next, we need to set, uh, click set. Make sure that it saves and we're going to go ahead and start our next test print. So we're going to start our next test print for comparison between our two nozzle heights. Now remembering that the first one that we've already got there was a nozzle height of 211.4 and we know that that's too close. And the next one that we're doing now is a nozzle height of 211.1 so we've decreased it by 0.3. Now again we're just going to print the first right layer of the raft and we'll probably stop it about there and we're going to have another look to see if we need to make an adjustment. So we've got our two prints here, the one on the left being our original, and the one on the right being with our nozzle height adjustment. Now the one on the right looks slightly better, but it's still a little bit see-through and still a little bit ripply, so we're still slightly too close. But we know we're going in the right direction because it is looking better. So we're going to make another, another nozzle height adjustment, and then we'll do another test print using the same model. All right, so we've got our latest test print here, just sitting slightly ahead of the original. Now we can see already that there's a massive difference between our other test prints. Now this one, you can see it's quite solid in color. It's also still squished out and flat, but you're not getting the ripples and you're not getting the see-through parts like you do on the other prints. So this is a perfect nozzle height. We know that that's perfect for this printer. So what you'd do from here is note that down. Once you've got it set, it's like tuning a car. You wouldn't retune a car every time you drive it. Once you've got it set, you leave it there and only change it again if you're under issues. Now just for comparison, we're gonna set the nozzle even further away and we're gonna see what it looks like when your nozzle's too far away from the perf board. So we're doing our last print. Now this time we've set the nozzle too far away. Now we know the optimum height is 210.9, so we've set it at 210.5, which is 0.4 mils too far away from what we know it should be. And we're gonna have a look at what the raft looks like and see what a raft that's too far away from the, uh, too far away from the nozzle looks like compared to an optimum raft. 
Now just over here in the front right we've got our most recent raft which is too far away from the platform. Now you can see already that part of it hasn't adhered while it was printing and it started to come away from the perforated board. You can also see compared to the optimum raft to the left of it that it's quite thin and stringy. Now any further away than this and you'd get a bunch of squiggly lines all over the perf board and nothing would be sticking down at all. In fact you can sort of st see it starting to happen over here with those squiggly lines over that screw hole. So again we know that this is too far away. To resolve this all we do is start increasing that nozzle height by 0.2 or 0.3 until we get a raft that looks like our one here on the left which is our optimum nozzle height. Now once we've done this the next thing we want to do is a border print which again you, you should have included with your email or you'll have access to and then we'll do a border print and check the level of our platform. Now just looking at our up studio here we've got a uh, We've got a preview of what the border print will look like. Link to it should be in the description below or if you've been emailed this by our support team then it should be included with your email. Now you can see it's just a uh, thin fence about one or two mils wide but what we're really looking for is the raft underneath and that's going to give us a good idea or a good indication uh, if your print, if your nozzle height is still too close or if it needs levelling anywhere on the board. Now our border print's completed, or at least we've got the first raft layer, and we can see already that there's a bit of a problem. Now this is why we do the border print. You can see on the right hand side, the nozzle's too close, and on the left hand side, the nozzle's too far away. So if you get a result something like this, what you'll need to do is check out our manual leveling video in the, uh, in the link below, and that'll take through the manual leveling process to make sure that you get a nice even raft across your board. Right, that's pretty much the end of the video guys, hope you enjoyed, hope you like these tips and tricks, let us know in the comments below how we got on.